Hey guys, welcome to Indoor Reef. In this video, I'm going to show you how to clean the fan on your AI Prime. Hey guys, so if your AI Prime is anything like mine, after many months of use, the grill cover in the fan starts getting full of dust and dirt. Now if I've learned anything so far in this hobby, it's that it's really important to maintain your equipment properly, otherwise it fails at the most inappropriate time. So today you can join me cleaning the fan grill on my AI Prime. This is not something I've done before, so I tried a few different ways of doing this, and I'm going to recommend to you which one I thought was the easiest. So if you hang around to the end of the video, you'll see some of the silly mistakes I made while trying to find out the best way to clean this light. So hopefully by watching this, you guys don't make them too. The first idea I've had for cleaning this light was probably a little bit over complex, to be honest, but it was triggered by a video I'd seen by uh, Aqua Illumination on YouTube showing you how to completely disassemble a light and then reassemble it. So I felt like, well, if the manufacturer is showing you how to do this, then maybe this is how you're meant to clean it. So I set off trying to disassemble the light. So I started off by removing the light from the tank. Now this wasn't very easy by the way because I didn't want to remove the mount because I want to make sure the light goes back in the same place afterwards. So I felt like I was forever unwinding the cables. Once I had the light on the bench, I tried to follow the disassembly instructions from the Acra illumination video. I very quickly realized I would need to remove the rating label on the back of the light to get to the screws. And this just started making me think that I really wasn't meant to be doing this because I don't remember seeing that in the video they'd posted. So at this point, I thought, you know what? I'm going down the wrong direction here. I need to have another think. Right, so on to stage two. So what I thought is, how about using a hoover to try and vacuum the light out without disassembling it? So now I had the light removed from the tank, this was quite easy and I wasn't so worried about things falling in the tank. So I cleaned off the brush nozzle for the hoover. And then... <laughs> just beat the devil out of it. And then just started hoovering away basically at the light and I was so surprised. This worked absolutely brilliant and you could see how clean it is because you can see straight through the uh, to the fan behind the grill so yeah i was really happy with this so this was a success but it still meant i'd spent all that time removing the light from the tank right now onto the method i would recommend for cleaning the fan on an ai prime now you may notice we've skipped stage three and i promised you some bloopers of me messing up trying to work out the best way to clean this light. So we'll come back in a minute and I'll show you how not to do it. But first, let me show you the method that I will be using for cleaning this light going forwards. So take a towel, lie it over the top of the tank. This works great on a small nano tank like mine. I'm not sure if it'll work on the bigger tank. And then just like before, just start using the hoover and any bits of dirt that come off will now be caught by the towel. Now once it's finished, you just remove the towel and then you're done. Now how quick and easy is that? That's way easier than trying to remove the light and this is definitely the way I'll be cleaning my light going forwards. And because it's so easy, this means I can do it on an ongoing basis so it never builds up like it did before. Okay, so the bit you've been waiting for. Now I should probably pretend this didn't happen, but I think it's worth showing you so you don't make the same mistake. So I put the towel over the tank just like before, but this time I didn't leave the mesh lid there. So what this meant is the towel slipped into the tank and it started soaking up water and then the auto top off started pumping in more fresh water because there was water being soaked up into the towel. This could very quickly have gone wrong and it definitely didn't work as well as leaving the lid on. I really strongly advise you leave a lid on when you do this and the lid just stops the towel dipping into the water. So uh, small thing, big difference. If enough people like this video, I'm looking to make a little mini series on how I maintain all the different pieces of equipment that I use on my reef tank. So if you want that, subscribe, like the video, and I'll keep making them. Until next time on Indoor Reef, keep it stable, keep it fun, and keep breathing.